You know, when we define winter, there's two ways that we actually can define it. One from an astronomical standpoint and the other from a meteorological standpoint. Astronomically, you're all well aware of that. Winter begins on or around December 21st when the sun has reached the furthest south point on the hemisphere and it continues until we get to the spring equinox on or around March 20th. But from a meteorological standpoint, we define winter as the three coldest months of the year. And so our dates are a little bit different. Take a look here at Minneapolis. Our astronomical winter uh, matches up pretty closely with the average temperature in Minneapolis, but not quite with the coldest time frame. If we put in our meteorological winter from December 1st through March 1st, it matches up perfectly with the coldest temperatures that Minneapolis sees. How about in another place like Boston? In Boston, winter occurs a little bit later based on temperature because they're a little closer to the oceans. It doesn't quite match up astronomically, matches up a little better, but not perfect for a meteorological winter. And boy, I'll tell you what, when you get out west to a place like Spokane in Washington, it's really interesting. Their winter occurs very early on. It certainly doesn't match up temperature-wise with astronomical winter. And with meteorological winter, it's a little more close, but I'd even bump that over just a little bit earlier on. So now you know the difference between meteorological and astronomical winter, and I'll bet everybody's ready for spring.